to my channel. My name is Charmaine, and if it's your first time visiting, welcome. And please hit that red bell so you can be notified when I do new videos. I do do I upload new videos twice a week. And if you are not, and if this is not your first time, welcome back, and thanks for coming back. Today I'm going to show you how to design those Mother Day tiles that you see all on Facebook, all on YouTube. Yes, there are videos on YouTube with on it also. But let me let you know, I will not be putting it together in this video, okay? I will not. So if you're looking for me to put it together, like put it on the put the vinyl on the tile, I will not be doing that on the video. So I'll just let you know right now so you won't be upset. <laughs> but I will show you how to design it in Cricut Space. Okay. Yes, I tried to do that vinyl, and I, tr I tried to do it. And I really don't be working with vinyl anymore, y'all. I will do vinyl for tutorials, but I tried to get that vinyl on that tile, and it gave me a headache. I did do one for my grandmother, and it, but it doesn't have a name on it. I can show. It, don't, it doesn't have the children names on it. I can show you that right now. And I tried to do one for my daughter, and I tried to use glitter vinyl, and that vinyl would not come off of the... Cricut paper. I use the Cricut paper. I use the Cricut um, transfer tape, and I use the um, Dollar Tree. Dollar, um, I use the Dollar Tree transfer tape, and it would not work. I was like, I'm not about to be resting with this transfer paper and this Cricut vinyl. <laughs> so I just gave up, y'all. Yes, I gave up. So, but a lot of people on my group was asking me to do it, and somebody was like, they posted today to my oh, Sherman, you would get it. You would do a video for us. <laughs> which I always do, but yes, I'm going to do the video, but I'm not going to put that stuff on the vinyl because it's just like weeding on a cup or whatever. As long as you got the measurements right, you will get it right, okay? But I'm not going to do it on the video today. So let's get started. First thing to do is go ahead and get your shape. So I'm going to go ahead and come here and get a square. And then I'm going to go ahead and unlock the square right here. Push, the, Click on the lock. Then you spread it out. Or you don't have to spread it out. You can just put the, put the measurements inside on the top. So my... Um, glass plate. That's another reason why I'm not doing it because the glass plates I got, I went to Lowe's to get it. You can get a Lowe's or Home Depot, and I got the wrong size. I wanted to, I didn't know when I went there what size y'all were using, so I just picked up the first one I saw because it, I was waiting out outside in the line for the longest time, and I was like, let me just go in here and get it and come out. So, um, the one I got was a 7.5 by 3.5. Okay. And I was going to do one for my grandmother and put her kids' name on it, but she has, I mean, grandkids in it, but she got, like, six grandkids. So that would not fit on this small towel and look right. So I need to get the longer longer one. So that's the reason why I didn't put any kids' name on hers because she has 20 grandkids. So um, I just gave up, y'all. So here's the um square. And you can just make it whatever color you want so you can be able to see it, even though the, the, the square is um, glass. But here on um Cricut Design Space, you just put the color you want. So... I'm going to just use, um, I don't want to use white because you can't see it. So I'm going to use a gray. Okay. There. And um, now you go ahead and go into your text. So I'm going to go into text right here. And then you put down what you want to put in here. So I'm going to go ahead and do the one I'm going to do for my daughter. But yeah, I wanted to do one for her with the pink glitter. It was so pretty. But the glitter wouldn't play. It was, it was just missing. It would not work for me, y'all. So make sure all the words, letters is capitalized. And you push enter. And then you go ahead and put, go ahead back, go to text again and put the, the name you want to put in there. But when you do this name, we're going to use the um, fonts. Let me show you. Text. And then when you, okay, I'm going to do this separately. So what you need to do is go ahead and go into your fonts. And, and I, the, the font that everybody's using is, okay, the font is called I Love Glitter. And this font you can get off of um, Defont.com. And if you want to know how to download any fonts from Defont.com, I can link that video below. Okay. So basically, people using those hearts. It's two different symbols that we use. We use the bracket. You push um, the bracket right next to your P on your computer. And then you can put her name in it like this. Okay, I put the bracket, which is the, the bracket, next to the P. And I put her name in it. And then I go ahead and do the close bracket right here. Okay. That's how you can do that. You can do it that way. Or 
you can do it the heart everybody using is the little um shift and then the um the underscore okay so that's how you do the heart but you see how this name i do not like the way this name looks so what i did is i basically deleted the name and i just used the brackets okay so i use i love glitter the brackets so i just use put that bracket right here then space and then another bracket, okay? So I, those are two brackets, and then I delete it like that. And I use, I like that heart too, okay? But for um her name, I'm going to go back into text. It's, it looks kind of, it's confusing, but it might be another way I can do it, but this is how I do it. um, Because you cannot put two fonts in one box, okay? So I can't put, um, I love glitter, and then another the other um font that I'm going to use in the same box, it won't work, okay? So let's go ahead, but you can, you can I'll show you how to do it. So then I go back to text, <clears throat> excuse me. Go back to text, <clears throat> then I put her name in here again, and I'm going to change her name to candle. I like the candle mustard font. This right here, candle mustard font. So this is where, of course, I don't want it all capitalized. Okay, and now what I need to do is bring her name over here. And what I do to line up the names, you can either go to up here to the top. You can leave it like this, and you can go to the top and go to line spacing. You can do it like that. Sometimes it's not like I want it. So you see how they are too close to the A? So now what I do is I put it on the line right here. So it can all line up on this line. So it won't be all, you know, crazy. And then I click on it and then I ungroup it. Okay. Then I move this, move it the way I want it. So I'm going to move this R over some. Okay. I want to bring the Y over to attach it. Okay. This is Beginners 101. A lot of people don't know, um, they just got their Cricut, so I'm doing, this is the 101 video, show you how to, um, design in Cricut Design Space, okay? So now, what I want to do is, I don't want to use these hashtags for her, well, I mean, I don't want to use these little thingies, I want to use the heart, though, okay? So what I need to do is click on here, delete these two, I just want to show y'all that you can use these in, in glitter, I love glitter, you can use these, okay? But I'm um, so yeah, to show you what everybody else is using. If you have more than one name, you put those in there. I'm going to use a heart for her, okay? So I'm just going to use this heart, and then I'm going to du duplicate it because I need two of them. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and duplicate it. Remember, this is called I Love Glitter. Okay? This is only one name. This is cute like this, but most people put... Um, I could show you another one, too, okay? And you could do it just like that because it's only one name. Okay, this name right here, I want this to be an in bold um, impact. So I'm just going to put bold up here. Let's see. We can find bold. Let's see. Let's see how everybody be using the impact one. Uh, let's do ego bold just to see. No, that's too thick. Let's just go to impact. You can use that if you want to, or you can use impact. I'm just trying to show y'all different things y'all can, different fonts. So let's do the impact. It's almost the same. Let me see. And some people use beefcake, but I couldn't find it. Somebody on my channel was using beefcake on my um in my group, but I couldn't find it. Let me see. I think I want to go back to um just play around with it, y'all. I think I want to use. Let me use this one. Let's <laughs> use that one too. Let me just let's see. Let's see about this one. Okay, I'm gonna use this one, y'all. Okay. So what you need to do now you take this and you unlock it and then you spread it out. Do not go all the way to the bottom of the um maybe that's too thick. Do not go to all the way to the bottom or to the side, all the way to the side. Keep at least a a few inches over, just enough so you won't run over the plaque, okay? And then you can just basically highlight this. And then you go to a, right, a line, and then you just so center. And then center right in the middle for you, okay? You can have this fine if you want to, or you can change it. I think I got bigger. I don't like it. <laughs> um...
Let's try Times New Roman. Okay, this is, I like this one better. So you can use any font you want. You can use the bold font or the skinny font. You can use whatever you want. I'm going to use this one. So there's only one name. So like I said, I'm going to put it in here like this. So if you're doing this tile, it's a good size. Just remember, even size is six, six and a half by 2.5. If you're doing a seven and a half by three and a half tile, okay? So then I'm going ahead and just basically, uh-oh, I have to do it. So now what I'm going to do is go ahead and group this right here. Take it and group it. And you can go ahead and weld it while you're here. Go ahead and weld it. So you can be able to have it cut in all one piece. Okay. And then I'm going to put it up here. I'm going to change the colors. So I'm going to go ahead and change it to pink. I do purple. My favorite color. Okay. So then I'm going to put it up here. And then you can center it the way you want to. And what I did, y'all, before, what I did was, let me see, it might work like this, though. It, it works. Okay. Sometimes the names might not be even. So before you weld it, what you need to do, because right now I see how the hearts is matching up in the M's, and then her name is really centered inside here. Sometimes it might not do that. So what you need to do to fix that is, let me show y'all, um, before I weld it, I should have basically ungrouped these three things, and I should have put the heart right here by itself. Put the name right here by itself and put the heart right here by itself. And then I will stretch the heart to make um it wide enough to make the... I might not understand me. Let me show y'all what I'm talking about. Okay. So I'm going to just move this right here so y'all can sh so I can show y'all what I'm talking about real quick. So um I'm going to ungroup this. Right click, ungroup, or you can go over here and ungroup it. And see, sometimes... um Okay. So then what I'm going to do is move these hearts out the way. Then I'm going to group her name so it could be all together. Group. And so, like I said, sometimes you might have a long name. Like my name, I should, which I should have put my name up here to, instead of her name. I'm going to make a different color so you can see it. Okay. My name is long. So, sometimes it would be hard to make my name even in, in this circle. So, what I did was I just go ahead and put the name in there, make it even. And then you bring the heart over here. Put the heart where it needs to be, and you just stretch it out, okay, to make it fit, okay. That's how I did with my with my other one I made, okay. So I just went like this, and then in order that I could stretch the name out just a bit, but it works better when you divide them, okay, when you um group them because you can better put it where you want to, especially if you have a long name like my name, okay. So you can't see it though because it's not black, but that's how you can do it: ungroup it first, and then do that. And then when you're done with it, when you're ready to print it, you know how you want it right here, right? So you just take it. Okay, so this is how I want this to be, the name to be everything is centered, okay? And this, let me see, it's not touching. So make sure it's, they all touching so I spread it over a little bit more. So you can bring this over a little bit. And now it's touching. Now this is how I want it. So now what I need to do is just take this away, move this in my mom out the way. And go ahead and weld this one together. Okay. Then now I can take this out because I don't need this. So you can delete it. I'll leave it on tightest because I might want to use it again. Then I go ahead and group this now. Okay. Group it. And then I weld it. Okay. But I don't like the way this A looked. That's why I didn't use that font for her name. I love the way this one looked. Okay. So I went ahead and um used this one and this one. And I put it on there. That's, that's beautiful. So you push right click and then you move to the front. I mean, I'm sorry. Right click and you move to the front. Send to the front. And there we have it. So when you basically, when you cut this out, you will cut this word out first. Whatever color you want to use, you just put the um vinyl in your cutter. And then whatever vinyl you want to use here, you put the vinyl in your cutter. Okay? And then you just do it like this. And then you put it right on top of there and then you layer it. You put the mom down first. You get your transfer tape and you take it off. And then you put it on the glass. And then you put this on top. And do the same thing with the transfer tape tape and you put it on top and make sure you wipe your glass off with alcohol clean it before you put the vinyl in there and make sure you have your vinyl on your um your, your tape i mean your transfer tape i'm not going to do it because like i said i was having issues with it i just want to show y'all how to um design it in cricut people want to know the font the font i use right here for this name was candle mustard the font for these hearts are the i love glitter this is roman 
times Roman, but you can use whatever you want, bold, whatever you want, okay? Okay, I'm going to, also, and what I did, I took the easy way out, y'all. I went ahead and sublimated mine. Instead of doing this vinyl, I sublimated it. So I got the, the tiles or the photo panels from Condi.com. I can leave that below. If you use Condi.com, if you call them and say my name, Charmaine Galloway, they will give you a discount, okay? Panel, it's called panel tiles. And um, you can get all different tiles you want to. And they also come with the um, teeth, the leg. They also come with the feet to hold them up. And I'm going to show you pictures of the ones that I did right now. Okay, so now before we go to Mickey, I'm going to go ahead and take this out. We don't need these, but I'm not using this. I'm just showing you how to do it, different kind of fonts. So I'm going to take this out. Then I'm going to take this out, okay? So that's all we need is this, these two pieces right here, okay? All we need is these two pieces. All we need is these two pieces right here. You can leave it on top of each other. Just go ahead and push and make it. So now you see you have two cuts, a cut right here and a cut right here. And this is how you want to make sure you weld it. If you don't weld it, it'll be all over the place. Okay, so now you see that my mom is black. I have my mom, and then I have her name. Okay, if you have um, okay, so then you just basically go to continue. And right now, mine will not work because I don't have my my um maker. It's not connected. But do not um, do not mirror it. Just print it just like this. Okay, like I said, print it out. You have two your two colors, and that's all you got to do. Do not mirror it. Okay. And that's all we have for you today, y'all. I want to show y'all how to design it because everybody was wondering how, what size y'all need. If you want to go to, if you have a bigger, uh, the bigger tile, which I don't know what the size is, measure that tile, okay? And then put that box inside of um, design space and then you just go in a couple inches so it won't touch the, don't let your, your name touch the, the edges of the tile and it'll be great. You can put whatever size you want to, okay? And people will also put an establishing here, like basically establishing mean when they became a mother, when they became a grandmother or whatever. So you just basically go ahead and put the text right here. You go to text, and then you put the year. You go E, S, T, and then you put the year. My, my daughter became a mother in 2020. Rest in peace to her baby, but she, mom, she's still a mother. Um, Let me see. And then I just go ahead and change the font. So I'm gonna go ahead and put, I use Time Roman. My daughter wanted this, so I did. I'm, I did hers, and um, like I said, I tried to do hers, but the the pink glitter would not would get was give me the blues, so I just gave up, and I was just sub, I'm gonna sublimate hers. If you want me to do a video on sublimation of how I sublimated the tile, let me know. Um, from the tiles that I got from Condi, and no, I'm not selling those tiles. I love them. I'm gonna keep them for myself. <laughs> So I do have some in stock, but I'm not going to sell them on my website because I just love them. I can just do so much with them, and you can just go ahead and order them and get your discount from Condi. Condi is more expensive than me. I sell my stuff wholesale price, so those are a little bit more expensive. So I would not be selling those on my website because I do wholesale prices. Okay, yo, the, the, the numbers don't have to be that big. So I put it like this or however you want to put it. You can put it over here, okay? And then what you need to do right here, whatever one you do, whatever position you cho choose it, just make sure you weld it so it can all be together. Okay, so well, this could be one cut. And um, check out my website, Um, I do sell sublimation blanks. I have some coming in shortly with this pandemic going on. It's taking a long time for me to ship our stuff, but I do have a lot of different things that I'm coming. My website is kind of dead right now, but I will be getting some stuff in this week. Well, Monday after this video will be coming in, which is like the Mother's Day. So I will be getting some in that week of Mother's Day. So you can check my website then, www.charminggalboutique.com. Also check out my Etsy page. Um, my Etsy page is Charming Gal Boutique number two. So it's Char Charming Gal Boutique two, no spaces. I'll link that below also. If you have ever purchased anything from my website, please, please leave me a re review. I'm a small business and reviews help my business. And I really appreciate you appreciate you from um, giving me your business. And if you like the business that I, you know, if you like the um, how I handle if you like my customer service and, and your turnover time of when you receive your gift, please put that down in the review. Please. I do try to get my, my um, I do try to get y'all things out before the shipping date. So y'all usually get a receipt saying, oh, your, you'll be ship, your stuff will be shipped out on the 16th. And I try to get yours out before then. So please, please leave a review in, in, um, on Etsy to let people know that I am doing good business. And I really appreciate that.
if you do do that, I will give you a 10% discount on your next um, purchase. Check out my sublimation group. It's called Sublimating Sublimation and Creations. Right now, we are not taking any more members in our group, Brown Girls Crapper Creaky, because there's so many, so much going on in there. Not only one person, so we're, only taking, we're not taking any more members for my um, group, Brown Girls Crapper Creaky. We probably will take more probably in the summer. All right. And if you want to see how this look, if you want to do some mock-ups, you can also do mock-ups with these, y'all. Let me show you how to do mock-ups real quick. <laughs> I'm always saying I'm doing a short videos, but I never do. Um, you can basically take a picture of the towel. Let me see if I got a picture of the towel in here. I think I do, because I think I was doing mock-ups. Let me go and see if I can see some, find some mock some some tiles. So upload. Oh, here it is. <laughs> okay, you can also, um, I was doing some mock-ups. Take some mock up. This is the towel that I bought. Okay. No, this is the towel I got from um Condi. Okay. So what I did was take a picture of it and then I, I um screenshot it and I put it in my in my um in my to my computer. This is the whole picture, okay? And this is really good. It looks good like this. So what I do is basically group this. Okay, group it. So it's gonna be one piece. Put this over here like this, and you got yourself a mock up, y'all. And if you don't want to have all this background here, which I do because I like the background, the fur and everything on my um on my website, I just take the picture, just take a picture of the towel then. You don't gotta have this all in here, okay? So I just go ahead and do it like this. Size the way how you're gonna size it. Make sure it looks like you what you're gonna look what you're gonna sell to your customers, okay? Make sure it looks the same. So if you're gonna have your images coming from way over here to over here, make sure it looks like this. If you're gonna have it like this. Make it like look like this, okay? Make it look like it's gonna look when your customer gets it. So they're like, oh, what is, what is this? So I just want to show you. This is how the towel looks with um Condi, and it comes with two feet. You can't see the other one right here, but it's another foot over here, and it's really nice, y'all. It's really I love them, okay? So you just put it like that, and then you basically screenshot it uh, on my computer. I do it like this. I just push Command Shift Four, and I screenshot how much I want. If I want the whole thing in there, I just do this much like this. About right here. Screenshot and it's right here. So this is how it's gonna look, y'all. When I send put it on Facebook, I put it in here like, like this, and it is like that. That's how it looks. Okay, so that's how you mock up your and stuff. Take a picture of whatever you want, and then you just put your um, images on here and take a picture of it. Or if you don't have um, if you don't have something like this, you just basically go here, click on here on the, right here, and then you can just screenshot the mom and put it somewhere, and then you can. Um, screenshot on something else, but if you want a clear background, you can go right here to the, in between the two zeros, and then you just make it, and you have your clear background right here. You can screenshot it again and put it wherever you want to. Okay. Um, let me see. I think I let me show y'all the ones I did. These come from Condi also, y'all. Because I, I and you can also put pictures on the ones from Condi. You can put any pictures on there. Okay, so um, it's all I have for y'all today. I went ahead and did the easy way and I did sublimation, okay? And like I said, if and you can also, like for me, what I did was I mocked this up for my sublimation because this is the one I use. It's the towel I use. So if you're looking for the towel that's from the one that you purchased from um, Lowe's, you just basically get that and take a picture of it and put it right here because this is not the same towel. This towel was the glass towel. It's, this is a real panel. The one that um, Lowe's is a... It's a tile, okay? This is a glass panel. So just take a picture of it, put it right here, and then you can mock it up, and you can put your whatever you want to put on here. So instead of making all these things for people, or you can show them how they look before you sell it to them, how it's going to look, okay? So just basically mock it up and show them and let them know this, the font you're using is how it's going to be, and they say, okay, yeah, I want that. So then you make it without messing up your stuff, and they don't like it. So mock your images up first. Make sure it looks just like it's going to look, and you'll be, you'll be set, okay? So that'd be all for today. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, if you want me to do a sublimation one, let me know. I can do that because um, I still got to do my daughter's. I still didn't do hers yet. I just mocked it up. So <laughs> I can sublimate that and show y'all because that's easier than using vinyl. Ha <laughs> ha. All right. Thanks for watching. Until next time, be blessed.